DJ Hoods. Show me your hands. Do you hear me? Damn. Is he infected? Looks clean. What do we do? He'll die here. No time. Get him to the car. Can you hear me? It looks like your pupils are responding and your hearing is intact. How are you feeling? When we found you, you had lost a lot of blood. I don't usually believe in miracles, so I assume that your sick recovery is the result of incredible fortitude. Oh, by the way, welcome to the village. I think this is the first time we've ever seen you here. So, you're probably not from around these parts. But don't worry, make yourself at home. So, can you get up? Try to get off the bed. Are you feeling good? Let me take another look at you. The bigger the dream, the harder the grind. So let's get it done. Great. I'm really glad to see you recovering so quickly. We've saved people from the outside before, but we practically pulled you back from the brink of death. My name is Leonard, Woodbury's doctor. And you are? Alright. Your speech organs seem fine. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but our leader Chris will fill you in on everything better than I can. So, if you're feeling okay already, you can grab your bag and go take a look around. Don't worry. Everyone in Woodbury already knows we have a newcomer. Take care, and get well soon. After you talk to Chris, you can always find me at the infirmary. Don't forget to take your belongings. They're in the bag by the door.
weapons and other equipment you can check out at our shop. And if you need medical supplies, you'll be able to buy them from me when I return to the <laughs> Another day in paradise, ain't it? You must have been thirsty. If you go out again, don't forget to replenish your food and water supplies at Rob's Bar. Our leader Chris will be glad to know you've recovered. Head to him first, okay? <laughs> 